This is something I wrote called When I Think of My Dad. When I think of my dad, I think badass goofball. After all, who would expect this strong, tough stuntman to absolutely live for wearing head to toe, even down to the underwear and shoes, pastel and neon the fun samples? My dad was confident and unashamed to announce pink as his favorite color, fully enjoy shopping trips, and tear up during all the sentimental scenes in movies. He loved cracking jokes, poking my ribs if I didn't laugh at them, and just being silly with me. He had a larger than life personality and a glow like the sun. When most people think of my dad, the first phrase that comes to mind is mushy mushy, which he spelled with a U instead of the traditional O, because he was anything but traditional. Like every aspect of his life, he put his own personal twist on the Japanese greeting. After he spent time in Japan while working on the TV miniseries Shogun, it became his signature hello for every phone call ever since. Some friends even decided to make it one of his nicknames. To most, though, he was Wild Man. Countless crazy stories from both his career and personal life earned him this fitting nickname. I would recite a few stories, but no one could tell them like he could. When I think of my dad, I think Hawaiian shirts, curly blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes, and a huge beaming smile all of his trademarks. As a little girl, I used to think that he was the tallest man in the world. I absolutely idolized him. While I've always loved both of my parents equally, growing up it was clear that I was a daddy's girl. He was everything to me. Safety, love, happiness. When I was seven, he tried to teach me how to ride a bike. It's kind of difficult though when someone is holding onto the back of your overalls, running beside you the entire time, refusing to let go. He used to make me wear wrist guards, knee pads, elbow pads, and a helmet just to rollerblade in my driveway. This stunt man did not seem to want his daughter following in his footsteps, AKA falling on my head for a living, as he would describe his own line of work. He used to say that he was just doing this until he figured out what he wanted to be when he grew up. All jokes aside, he was so passionate about his career and life in general, which is something I admire about him, and work to feel every day in my own life. Often I would catch my dad just looking at me. When I'd turn and ask him what he was staring at, he would smile and say, you're so pretty, I love you. He was filled with so much love. Everyone my dad met, he treated as if he had known them forever. All who met him loved him back. I am proud of everything that my dad accomplished and I can live gratefully knowing that the feeling was mutual. My dad was over the moon proud of my twin sister and me. On film sets, he used to brag about us and bring our pictures around to show anyone and everyone he could pull aside. It used to embarrass me back then, but I would never admit how it secretly made me feel good at the same time. Show them your splits, play the piano for them, let them see your painting, flex your arms so they can feel how strong you are, put on the movie you girls made, please. My dad taught me to follow my passions, have fun, and help people. Before I went anywhere, he would always tell me 
don't do anything I wouldn't do. Which basically meant anything goes. He was lucky that I wasn't a wild child. Growing up in the 90s, I remember lots of budding young stuntmen and stuntwomen coming over to our home stunt workshop, hoping to learn and make their way into the industry. Anyone lucky enough to meet my dad and train under him was pretty much set. He did everything he could to help friends and strangers alike and never charged them a cent to train. It was just like a big summer party, similar to the half year birthday blowout tea and my mom would put on for my sister and me. He loved celebrations and he lived to share his knowledge. He kept no tips or tricks secret and shared everything with love and compassion. Everyone was a friend to him. He once invited a woman who worked at the drive-thru at McDonald's to our house to see our Christmas tree when she was on her lunch break. That was the kind of man my dad was. He taught us honesty, integrity, and professionalism, the motto of the company, Stunts Limited, that he co-founded. In 2012, he won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Taurus World Stun Awards. In his acceptance speech, he urged us all to go for it, go big or go home, and never let your memories become greater than your dreams. The award is currently on display in our family room. He would always take guesses from guests as to how much it weighed and make them try to pick it up. My dad taught me a lot about happiness. Happiness is enjoying the simple things that life has to offer. My dad filled the camera roll in his phone with hundreds of pictures of nights upon nights of the sunsets over the lake in our backyard. He would always call us out to gaze at them. Happiness is taking care of others. Whenever I'd watch movies with him on our couch in our family room, he would give me seemingly endless foot massages. Happiness is staying positive and optimistic. If we were ever upset, he would instruct us not to waste energy and to handle things peacefully. Happiness is a glass of red wine. I inherited his taste and appreciation for it. Happiness is giving over receiving. He loved to spoil his girls, never expecting anything in return. Getting old is a bitch. It is painful and confusing. For the longest time, we tried to hide my dad's condition to protect him. It's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. The truth is, I haven't really seen my dad in a few years. I've seen him, but I haven't really seen him. His body has been compromised from all the hits he's taken, and his mind and memory have taken their own hits as well. It's felt so long, and yet so quick. I almost forgot about the times he would drive us around the lake on our boat, or burn the hot dogs every year when he would grill out on the 4th of July, or blast elevator music in the car, or fight to always pay the bill at restaurants, or fold the wet laundry before he threw it in the dryer. I miss those days, Dad. I miss when he would talk and talk and talk. I miss when he would wake me and Maya up with back massages to get us up for school. I miss when he would let us watch your screeners with you and discuss our thoughts on the films. I miss when you would teach us self-defense moves like the one you employed on Maya's first boyfriend the first day you met him. You taught me to stick up for myself and others. You always fought for the underdog and believed in treating everyone with equality. You were charming and vibrant. I miss when you would sign my birthday cards like an autograph with Glenn R. Wilder following Dad and a sweet message. I miss you. Thank you, Dad, for everything, for bringing me into this world, for saving my life by chanting to me every day when I was born early and you didn't know I was going to make it. Thank you for the love that my heart can barely contain. For the laughs. The laughs that made my stomach hurt. For the life lessons.
lessons that I will carry with me forever. You are a legend. Forever and always, Glenna Wilder. And I will forever and always be your happy-go-lucky little butterfly. I love you so much. Love, Yippee.